Through the use of labels, Modio CI 2.0 supports the creation of baselines of BI content, which can be used for efficient, traceable, and reproducible release management. Once a label is created, all content associated with the label can be easily promoted from one Cognos environment to the next. Let's suppose I have my reports, models, and other BI artifacts in a version control, and I'm ready to do a release from my development Cognos environment into my QA environment. Let's walk through the steps of creating a label for the release and then promoting the associated content. First under version control, I'll click on manage labels to create a baseline named April release. I'll default the selected versions of each BI artifact to most recent revision from development. Next, I'll select the BI content, which I want to include as a part of this new baseline. I can include packages, folders, reports, and any other type of BI artifact under version control. While doing this, I can also choose specific revisions for each selected artifact. Once I'm satisfied with the content, which will make up the April release label, I can click on the Save button. At this point, Modio CI will create the label and record all artifacts and revisions which make up the April release baseline. Now that I've created this new baseline in my development instance, I'll promote all content associated with it into my QA Cognos environment. I'll select the target instance name and enter my Cognos credentials. At this point, I also have the option to promote the label itself into my target instance so that I can easily track all items which made up this deployment. Once the promotion has finished, the results are displayed and I can verify that all objects in my April release label promoted successfully. While in Cognos, the Modio CI plugin allows us to link to the revision history for the GoSales and Retailers package and show under comments the April release label promoted revision 2 from development. I can also look at the QA instances labels and see that the April release label was created and that it contains all the objects from the development instance April release baseline.